As the summer months start to warm up, and especially with the dog in the house, I'm always trying to combat insect bites. But conventional bug sprays are often toxic and contain chemicals that aren't good for our bodies. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY natural bug spray using just a few simple ingredients. Here I have 4 ounces of distilled water. You can find distilled water at any grocery store, but if you don't have distilled water, you can just boil some up and let it cool to room temperature. Next, I'm going to add in 4 ounces of witch hazel. You can also find this at any drugstore. Witch hazel is a natural toner and astringent that's great for your skin. Then I'm going to add in 1 teaspoon of sweet almond oil, also very good for your skin, but it acts as a carrier and I'll explain more later. Next, I'm going to add in about 30 drops of lemon eucalyptus essential oil. This has been reported to be a great natural substitute for DEET in repelling insects. DEET is not good for your body, so using this oil is a great way to repel insects. But I don't recommend this for children under 3 years old. Instead, you can substitute for lavender oil or lemongrass. Speaking of which, I'm also going to be adding in about 30 drops of lemongrass essential oil, also known as citronella. I'm sure you've seen citronella on labels of those insect repellent candles. Well, this is what it is. Next, about 30 drops of rosemary essential oil. And finally, another 30 drops of tea tree oil. Tea tree oil works best for fleas, ticks, chiggers, and even deer flies, while citronella, lemon, eucalyptus works best for mosquitoes and black flies. Gross. Essential oils are the key ingredients to use here when it comes to keeping bugs away. Other great essential oils that you can use are cloves, geranium, peppermint, even lavender. When using essential oils, it's important to dilute them with a carrier oil so that it doesn't irritate your skin. Here I'm using sweet almond oil, but you can also use coconut oil, olive oil, or neem oil. I'll mix everything together and then transfer it to a spray bottle. Always shake the bottle before applying because the ingredients tend to separate naturally and just reapply every few hours. I always make a few of these bottles to keep at home, in my purse, and in the office so I always have it with me. You never know when they're going to attack. Now for a couple natural remedies if you've already been bitten. Here's a banana that I'll peel and I'll just take the inside of the peel and rub it on the insect bite. I know this sounds really strange, but the sugar from the banana peel will drain the fluid from the bite. So rubbing the banana peel on the insect bite will really help. Here I have an aloe vera plant that I'll just pinch off a tiny bit and rub the gel on my bite. The cooling effect of the aloe vera plant will soothe any itch or bite that's been scratched open. Here I have some camphor. It's an anti-itch relief oil and it really works. Camphor can sting a little bit due to its menthol properties, but if you put it on early enough, it can prevent the itchy bump from forming. If you're looking for an anti-itch cream, here's one that I found from Whole Foods that really works. It's a homeopathic one and works great in comparison to the conventional ones um, at the drugstore. It contains natural products and the active ingredient is Cardiospermum halica bum tincture. Try this one, I recommend it. Finally, try not to scratch your bites as it can cause inflammation and even scarring. If you really have to, one trick that I've learned is to slap it really hard. I know that sounds weird, but it fools the brain into thinking that it's nerve pain or something instead of itching, and I much prefer that feeling over itchiness. Try it and let me know. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have an insect bite free summer. Try this out and let me know how it works for you. Comment below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!